Welcome back. I uh, have another review video. Um, this time, doing a bit of a classic kit. Um, today, we're going to be looking at uh, Ravel's 1481st scale USS Helena. Um, this particular ship is the Baltimore class version, not the earlier St. Louis class. Now, this is one of uh, Ravel's retro kits that they've been releasing lately that date back to the 50s. So let's go ahead and open up and take a look. Now uh, right off the bat one of the nice things about this particular kit is that it does give you all the numbers and ship names to build any in the Baltimore class. Now I do know some of the later ones, I believe in all the ones in this row, well except for that one, uh, but a lot of the later ones were eventually converted to guide, excuse me, guided missile cruisers and had different layout, so something to take note. Uh, instructions, get to that in a little bit. Uh, also nice is it includes a set of signal flags. Um, I think they include it just as a generic set. Um, it's not a decal, so it's just a matter of cutting them out and applying. So, oops. Let's get into the kit itself. Now, first up, we have the main body. As you can see, it's a full hole and not a uh, water level hole. So, obviously, if you want to do any type of uh, diorama work or anything you have to take that into account uh, unfortunately however this is where I start I'm gonna have to start bashing the kit a little as the molds have definitely not uh, up to the same quality we'd expect from modern kits as there is some already some flashing here in the bow section additionally all these net and parts are Mold solid. So let's add you on. Yeah, here we have the deck, which is basically one entire piece. Now, uh, all the railing is molded solid, which is not good. Uh, fortunately, though, there are no ejector pin marks in any of the areas that will be really seen with exception of right here but I looking at the instructions it that's not going to be really seen uh, again there is some more flashing in various parts especially around these smaller gun mounts after it here uh, chain looks good again more flashing here uh, it does come with a stick and that you can the symbol. Uh, not too much to it though. Uh, caps for the gun mounting. Now here's where things really go south. Uh, so we'll start here. Uh, have the main guns. Big complaint here is the fact that the turrets here are open. Uh, now they're supposed to have this just slide in there, but it looks really bad. You know, have to fill that in to make it look convincing. Um, <laughs> these various um, tenna and small parts were not really protected. So, again, that's going to take some work to fix. Uh, planes have a little bit of a mold line, but otherwise they're... All right, they're not that great. Now here's where we run into a big, big um, inaccuracy. Now these are the five-inch guns that ship had, and these do not at all look like the real thing. And this is one of the five-inch mounts off uh, Tamiya's one three fiftieth kit of the USS New Jersey. Now, really big difference between this and this. 
in addition, if we look here at the quad 40 mounts, again, not good. As if you look and see, the guns are molded as just one solid square peg. Now, I could understand them doing this if uh, the guns rested on like a mounting rack or something, but in real life they didn't. So that's completely inaccurate and just a cheap way to try and keep them from being super brittle. Again, a lot of flashing around some of the parts, especially here on the superstructure. Uh, again, antennas are on the oversized side. So, let's take a look at the instructions. Again, no actual uh, paint numbering, just generic color names, which doesn't surprise me at this point. Uh, excuse me. Uh, assembly is fairly straightforward, fortunately. Uh, there's nothing I can really see that would require uh, drastic work. Uh, you do need to provide your own wire if you want to uh, rig it, but that's not that difficult. Uh, would have been nice had there been some sort of connecting point for the um, stand just to make it a little easier and and better yet, even have a nameplate on it. So, uh, what do I think of this kit? Well, if I'd say I would classify this as something to remind us what I we should be thankful for the advances in model design technology. Yes, it's not very good. And not only that, because it's an odd scale, you really can't get any replacement aftermarket goodies, which does make it a bit of a downer. But if you're up for a challenge, or you, you just really don't care, or you're just really like the Baltimore class. I even actually even then I would say skip it even though if you just from a quick look online a lot of places that would potentially carry it are sold out totally done and it's unavailable though you might be able to find it through swap meets and the like. Would I say totally avoid this kit? No, because it is on the fairly cheap side. I, I picked this up for about 20 bucks, and that is full retail. But would I say pay that? No, I, I, I got this on a bit of a whim, expecting the worst, and looks like it, after looking through it, uh, my fears were kind of answered, but no, it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, this was a look at the Vavil's USS Helena in 1481st scale. Uh, Till next time.